Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, we're going to answer a comment that we received in this video, which is about recording Figma prototype. So the comment is from Laurie and it goes like, how do you take the desktop prototype video and layer it onto a stock image of a monitor or laptop to add context to the prototype? Is there an easy way? And thanks for your video. So I promised I'm going to do a video on this. So after a bit of research, here we are. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we need for creating such a video is obviously the device mockup. It can be a MacBook or a desktop, whatever we need. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, Google for free MacBook mockup or whatever device you need and you'll find a ton of resources. So let's go for the first one itself. So if I go into this link, you can see there are a lot of free MacBook mockups and you can browse through whichever you like. And there are many free resources as you can see here. So make sure you go for the ones which have a straight viewing angle. Don't go for these which have a side viewing angle because this method won't work on these. For doing these, we need uh, softwares like After Effects and all that but this is a very simple method for which we need a straight viewing angle and this is also very good because it gives a clear uh, view of the prototype rather than uh, side viewing angles so I really like this one which is a MacBook Pro 16 inch mockup and it's free so just click on view details and you can just download it I've already done it as you can see it's available for Photoshop Figma and sketch well apart from this I also found this amazing article on UX planet which is by they make design and they have actually listed down all the free resources of mockups for MacBook and this is a really good collection. I'll also mention the link of this one in the description below. So make sure you check that out. But apart from these free resources, if you are looking for something really professional looking ones, you can go for yellow images. They have a ton of resources for different mockups, not just MacBooks. But if I search for MacBook mockups, you can see that they have got a lot of different styles and different kind of materials with different viewing angles and all. So this is a really professional website where you can find amazing mockups mockups for all your design needs. So I'll mention the link for this one also in the description if you're looking for something really professional. And the next thing that we need is the video itself. So if you see here, I have the video. This is from a free UI kit that I found on the web. So I'll be using this one to actually place it on the device mockup. And this is the mockup that I just downloaded, which I showed you. So these are the two things that we need as of now. So the tool that we're going to use for creating this video is Capwing and Capwing is an amazing online free video editor. It has got amazing tools to create awesome videos and the best part is you get the output without any watermark and in full HD. So just go ahead and sign up for the free plan and just start a new project and I'll go with the blank canvas here and you get these standard sizes. So I'll go for 16 by 9 because we are dealing with a laptop here. So the next thing we're going to do is upload the files that we have. So the two things we have is the video of the prototype and the mock-up image. So I'll just drag and drop it onto the video editor here. So the first thing I'll do is I'll just place the video aside and we'll try to resize this mock-up frame to fit the whole video frame here. So there you go, that is done. And the next thing we'll do is we'll click on the video here and try to resize it. So make sure you lock the ratio here so that it doesn't get distorted. Then I'll just go ahead and resize it so that it fits exactly on the image here. And you can use the arrow keys to do some fine adjustments. That looks good. You can just play ahead and see how it looks. So that looks great. You can actually also give some rounded corners to it so that it looks even more cool. So I'll just give a bit of a rounded corner here. And as you can see, that looks great. I can again resize it a bit more so that you don't see these edges here. So one more thing you can do to get rid of these colors that you see here is actually cut out the frame and that comes handy even if your resolution of the video is different. Uh, so let me just give you an example of that too. So if I go here and I have a bigger video here, so if I drop it onto the video editor here, log the ratio and let's try to fit this one. So this one is not the resolution of the MacBook. So you'll see how that behaves. So if I try to fit this with the height of the device here, you can see that there is a gap left here. And if I try to fit it with the width of the MacBook here, you can see there's a height difference and it overflows the device. So in such scenarios, what you got to do is you have to cut out the frame. So for that, you can use Photoshop, Figma, Sketch, any tool. Or if you don't have any of those, just go to this online free editor. Just upload the device here. So I have the MacBook, so I just drop it here. So just use the selection tool, just select the part where you have the screen and just hit on delete that part of the image gets transparent and all you have to do is just save it I've already done it I have the cutout image right here if you can see here there's nothing in the between we'll place in the new frame that is with the cutout and I'll just resize this one to fit in here for the moment we'll send this to the back and I'll try to align this and we will fix the width here that looks good and now all we got to do is just send it to the back and that's it Everything works as expected.
So let's say you don't want the whole video here. You can also edit that stuff. So all you got to do is click on the video here and then you'll have this option to trim. So go to trim and let's say you don't want the starting part of the video where I'm scrolling. I'll place it till here and just say done. And that's it. Your video is reduced to six seconds here. So once you feel uh, satisfied with all the changes here, just go to the export option here. So if you want to put it on dribble or something, you can go for export as GIF. And if you want it as a video, you can click on export as mp4 and the export happens in the background and this comes in full hd and without any watermark so that is the best part about this so it might take a couple of seconds or a few minutes based on the size of the video so there you go you have a preview of the video that you just created and if you're satisfied you can just download it or if you want to edit more just go for the edit option so that's it for this video guys i hope you found it informative and helpful thanks for watching